Hello and welcome to Unix Services Training. Please do visit us on unixservices.co.in and subscribe to our channel to learn more about open source and Linux based platform learning. So we are there on unixservices.co.in. So please do visit us and subscribe to us. This training we are concentrating more on concepts which are related to zipper which is one of the major component in SUSE Linux which helps installing removing updating packages and also patches updates so we will be concentrating today more about packages so let's use zipper so in Red Hat we use yum but in SUSE Linux we use zipper so we have a command called a zipper and we can use se to search and we can define the package name so I'm saying zipper search for Apache 2 so you can see all the packages which are related to Apache 2 right now which has been listed you get the name at the same time you get the summary and the package in the source package which is related to this so if we want to know whether Apache is installed or not or if we want to get the detailed information about Apache so we can use zipper info and the pa package name so it gives you the information from where is it fetching the package the name of the package, the version, what is the architecture, who is the vendor and whether it is installed or not so presently it is not installed what is the size of the package so get all this information which is related to package from info now let's take an example I want to install a package so I will use zipper install Apache 2 so it will give you an option so do you want to install Apache 2 which is the size 1.3 MB so I'll say yes it will go ahead and perform the installation so how do we go ahead and remove it so let's say I want to remove it so I'll just go ahead and remove so I can just remove the package by using remove so this is how you can just go ahead and install get the information about the package let's say how do we get the information about a pattern pattern is nothing but a group of packages which are the bundles so I can just type a zipper and I can say se dash t pattern so I have all these patterns which are available for me so we have these number of bundled packages and you can just see what does these packages relate to in the summary so let's try installing a package bundle so I'll say zipper install dash t and give the package name
zipper install dash t pattern package name so it says it's already been installed and we have the latest available documentation so like this you can just go ahead and install a bundle of packages you can install a single package which is there available the same time all these packages are a part of RPM so if you just type RPM dash QA pipe to grab RPM dash QA pipe to WC dash L you can see we have 1219 packages which are available so zipper is one of the method where SUSE Linux uses to install these packages so which is the source the packages are fetched from so if you use zipper space LR you can see what is the source it is fetching so presently we are fetching it from the open SUSE based package repository from internet and you can see we also have an option to get it from the DVD of SUSE which I have downloaded so these are some of the options so how do we go ahead and install the packages other than zipper we can also use yast or yast2 so you just type yast hit enter so it opens up yast and under software you have software management here you can just go ahead and search for packages so in the search phase if I say Apache 2 it search for the package and here you can just go ahead and install these packages which are the one which you want so you can use yast this way or else you can use a complete graphical environment yast2 and here in YAS2 you can use an option of going ahead and installing the packages through software management here search the packages through the patterns and you can install those things from here it's a complete GUI based toolset which helps you to install the packages so these are some of the methods where you can just go ahead and install and remove the packages through SUSE Linux thank you for viewing and have a great day ahead